Joe Bornhorst from Techno RC. Today I'm going to show you how I go about mounting my ProLine tires and show you a couple of the methods that I use to make sure that I get a good glue job. So here we have a ProLine buckshot in the M3 compound. So the first thing you have to do before putting it onto the wheel is you have to put a couple holes in there. So what I personally do is I just use this leather punch from Harbor Freight and I do two holes in the center of the tread just about 180 from each other. Now there's some people do other methods, but this is just what I do. And then you take a blue towel with just some full strength submarine. You don't want to cut it with any water or anything, just normal full strength. And you wanna go around and make sure that you get that bead clean. And after you go all the way around, you wanna go back and wipe off the excess to dry. Then when you redo that, go ahead and put it on the wheel. And whenever you're doing this, I, I do the back first. You just want to make sure that the bead is seated all the way around. You kind of pick up and move it and just kind of manipulate it until you get it to where you want it. And on both sides, you want to be able to look straight down and make sure that it's even with the rim all the way around. So once you have the tire on the wheel, you want to make sure that the tire is lined up again around the rim. And then for the rear, you just want to open it up, apply the glue. Then you want to do this little wiggle and then press. So whenever you do this wiggle and press, this does two things. It spreads the glue throughout the bead. And then whenever you press it, it activates the glue and kind of sets it in place real quick. A little trick that I learned from Ryan Lutz. Then for the back, I just take a blue towel and wipe it clean. And then for the front, it's the same process as far as gluing. So you want to open it, wiggle and press, and you want that excess coming out. And the front, I'm going to do a little bit different than what I did the rear. To where I'm going to leave that excess bead there. And I'm just going to take an old X-Acto blade and I'm going to go around and I'm going to spread this. And I'm going to get this nice clean bead of glue. And then you just let that sit and dry. So this is what it'll look like when it is dry. And to me, that just looks like cleaner than what it does whenever you wipe it. And I think it would be a stronger bond since you're letting the glue dry from start to finish. And that's how I go about mounting my ProLine tires. Thank you.